I don't know about you, but certainly for me in my garden at the moment, it's all about butterflies. I've had loads of different species, mostly on the Bodleia, uh, peacock, gorgeous red admiral, really striking with that black and orange markings. Um, what else have we had? Small tortoise shells. Um, these are actually second brood now. So the ones you'll have seen in June sort of time um, or before that would have been from the eggs that overwintered and hatched in the spring. Um, the ones we're seeing now, the butterflies that is, are the offspring of those butterflies which have mated and laid eggs and gone through the whole crazy metamorphosis and uh, now are producing the second batch. Not only those who've had two species of whites, there's actually no such thing as a cabbage white, amazingly enough. Um, there are small whites, large whites, and another one called a green-veined white. Um, there's loads appearing on the verbena. The bees and the butterflies seem to really like it. Got a few sunflowers still going. Um, not so popular with the butterflies, but definitely the bumblebees are enjoying those. Likewise, the hollyhocks. Every time I look, there's a bee swirling around, covered in pollen in the middle of that flower, which is really cool. The other one I saw was a meadow brown. Spent a, a good long time watching it um, laying eggs on the lawn, which is amazing. We're always saying that you don't need a garden to give nature a home. Well, here's the proof. This weed here, which is just growing near, my, near our garage, is absolutely covered in tiny green caterpillars. And somewhere on these nettles a moment ago, I saw what I think is a comma caterpillar. Oh, here it is. Way. You can't quite see the colouring on that, but it is sort of lovely, rusty, gingery colour. You can see its little hairs there. So what that's taught me today is the value of often overlooked plants, um, even weeds really, uh, nettles, we've had a caterpillar on the nettles. I've actually also seen a butterfly laying eggs on those nettles, um, probably where the caterpillar came from. Um, and the prickly lettuce by the garage, absolutely covered in caterpillars. So although the Budlia looks very pretty, they're great to have because the butterflies like to feed on them. It's those slightly less attractive, um, less sensational plants, which are just as important for the life cycle of this amazing creature.